What's going on, you rascals? Tobin here with you. Thanks for checking out the channel. Much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, check us out out here. Check us out out on WQAM's page. Tobin and Leroy uh, streaming live 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. every single weekday. Check us on out. And uh, shout out to our boys, Hockman and Crowder. They are now, uh, I think they'll be doing live soon. Let me check if they did live today. But I, I know for sure... You can now get the Hockman and Crowder show uh, clips on the WQAM YouTube page. So check that on out, everybody. You know, don't uh, don't be a stranger. Appreciate all the fun and all the shenanigans you guys have coming with us. Uh, it looks like they're still just doing clips, but the more the merrier. I'm happy about it. I'm happy that community is building. Hope everybody who watches us here uh, welcomes them with uh, open arms to the QAM YouTube page. So. Thanks, everybody, for that. So, big news today, and I'm not talking about Tom Brady, uh, although that I will get to a piece of that, is Tua Tungavailoa clears concussion protocol. Ian Rappaport with this uh, tweet today. It was uh, right during the middle of our radio program, right for the final hour. Uh, he said that Tua Tungavailoa has cleared the NFL's concussion protocol. Sources say he met several medical professionals in the process. And they are confident he'll be 100% when the time comes for football. And I believe I said this earlier in the week. I really felt like we were going to get some answers on Tua pretty soon because I don't know if you guys saw, but Tua just put out a, uh, I think it was a Nissan ad recently. And I said, like, look, Super Bowl week's coming. And that's money time for certain athletes. Tua is going to be making the media rounds. They're going to want answers about his concussions. I'm not surprised that this news comes out this week. It also happens to come out the same day that Tom Brady announces his retirement on a Miami beach and uh, lets it be known that for realsies this time, he's done. But it's great news, obviously, with Tua that he uh, is on the mend. It also is a convenient timing, not only because the Super Bowl is coming up next week and uh, he'll probably be doing a bunch of interviews, Um but also that, uh, you know, it's after you decide who's going to the Pro Bowl. Tua had basically bowed out of the Pro Bowl because of concussion protocol. And who could blame him? This is the, the you know, the, the game gets fugazier and fugazier by the week, by the year. Who cares about this damn Pro Bowl? It means nothing, less than nothing. And so now that they have their roster set, all of a sudden he's cleared. Oh, wait, too late. Can't go. Sorry. When the news came out that he wasn't in, you know, that he was still in it after the season, I wasn't, I wasn't sweating that. I was like, you know what? I know it doesn't sound good and it allows for um, more speculation and all that, but I didn't think it was a big deal. Now the interesting thing is like, what is the media going to do? What is the, uh, what are the Florios, the Simses of the world going to do with this Tom Brady news? Um, I still believe there's a chance Tom Brady is tied to the Dolphins. I don't necessarily know if that means playing, but I would I, I wouldn't be surprised if he does revisit the whole idea of getting in on a, a piece of the Dolphins, you know, becoming football Fergie, so he can sit in the booth next to Stephen Ross, Dan Marino, and Tom Garfinkel and hobnob and you know, kind of have that Derek Jeter ish role, although probably with less responsibility, which Jeter wanted in the first place, by the way, with the Marlins. Um, you know, kind of just a wine and cheese type of position. And then look, if something happens with Tua and he isn't able to play, I could totally see Tom Brady raising his hand and swooping in like a white knight to save the day. If that does become the case, but you know, just the idea that he's from the get go going to take the Dolphins job. All right. That seems to be out the door. Seems very much like Lamar Jackson is staying in Baltimore one way or the other. That's out the door. The 49ers did say today that Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be gone. I, I cannot understand a fan that would want that as a replacement other than what you saw from Tua this year, um, especially with how porcelain Jimmy G is. Um, Derek Carr, does that really tickle your fancy more than what you saw from Tunga Vailoa? So, and then, like, I guess the last one is Aaron Rodgers, but I don't know, man. I just, like, Aaron Rodgers is such a... Loose cannon willing to, you're probably going to, you might see him on the jets. I mean, that might be a thing this year. He, he definitely seemed like he was, uh, he, his fancy was tickled by them hiring, uh, old Hackett and bringing him into the fold. But you know, I, uh, I, I really feel like for that two week dust of, well, we'll see. 
I truly feel like every question was answered in that post game media. And I'm not even talking about just Tua. Like you heard with the answer of the defensive coordinator, you know, it was kind of a lukewarm. We'll see with Christian Wilkins. I truly believe they're going to try and, and do right by him with Tua. I truly believe they think he is the, the guy he is. They, they believe he's going to be healthy and they believe he's going to be the guy. I don't know if they'll extend him this offseason or give him that, you know, to, to jump. One, I don't think they're going to, they feel like they'd get a jump on a discount. And two, I do think you should probably see that he could get through a season. I think that's fair. I'm not, I don't believe the fans that have concerns about Tua's health are unwarranted in their concerns. It was, you know, the, I think the number one concern I had going into the season was durability. I didn't see head injuries being the thing that was going to take him out. Um, I was more worried about like broken bones, you know, uh, twisted, twisted ankles, things like that. And it turned out that this was the other loophole that was, uh, that was thrown into it. This was the other, I should say loophole, I guess curveball would be the, uh, appropriate term there that was thrown into the, uh, the Tua Tungavaloa cocktail and see where we are at with things. But you know, I, I do think all those other options that people really were trying to throw out there, I don't think they're there. I really don't. And so what are you doing? You're just you're just spinning your wheels here. Um, but great news that he is out of concussion protocol. It was funny. To, I don't know if you guys saw Tyree Kill on the whole Tom Brady thing, but Tyree Kill doesn't believe he's retired either. Tyree Kill tweeted out. Um, let me get this up for He goes, uh, everybody holding their TB12 post. He, he say he's done this time, LOL. You know, I'm with him. I, how could you believe him? How could you believe Tom Brady? You know, it's like, okay. People, the thing that I find my favorite take of Tom Brady today was, oh, well, it was just very raw. It was, you know, he was on the beach and he just hit record. I'm like, you guys idiots. You think that he doesn't know that's how that looks? Everything is calculated, dude. So let me get this straight. You guys all think that Tom Brady's just waltzing around the beach one day and it's just like, now is the time. Well, a couple of things. One, it's a terrible time to make a life decision because you're going to be in the fields. You're going to have goosies galore. You shouldn't be making emotional decisions like that. But let's just say it was. So all of a sudden, Tom Brady then has 400 Instagram photos that are ready to go on his story to reflect his entire life. Mm, let's be real about it. Come on. So I'm with, I'm with Tyreek Hill. I don't believe him. I still believe that, you know, uh, a, a 49ers, you know, a Vegas, a Carolina. We'll see when football, when football gets to football and, and Fox is asking them to go broadcast and, you know, Giselle doesn't come back. We'll see. We'll see. Or we'll see. We'll see if the Dolphins reach out to him, if Stephen Ross reaches out to him and asks him to, to, you know, come into the fold as something with the, uh, the franchise and, you know, maybe people will think that's beneficial for Tua. You know, Dan Marino certainly sits in quarterback meetings and does uh, a lot of that input and, you know, tries to give his input onto Tua. So what could it harm having another uh, all-time great hanging around? You know, the Heat do that all the time with uh, with their legends. So, you know, pretty cool that you know, Alonzo Mourning's around, but they also have Dwayne Wade as a resource for these guys and things like that. So I don't know. But great news that Tua's out of concussion protocol. And I do expect, you know, when, when, you know, he probably does some media next week in Super Bowl time, uh, I'll be interested to see what he has to say about the whole process.